What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Dobbini, and I'm an electrical engineer. And today's another opportunity to be better today than we were yesterday. And today, we're going to be answering the question by Alexandre Barba. She said, great video. Made me subscribe instantly. I appreciate it. I'm on my way to declaring an electrical engineering major. Just got to get the prereqs out of the way first. What are your thoughts on specializing in the degree? For instance, electrical engineering degree with communication specialization. Do you think that it's better to it's better than studying a more general, comprehensive electrical engineering degree? Would love to know your thoughts. All right, so this is the way I'd put it, right? A general electrical engineering degree, almost everybody who gets an electrical engineering degree will obtain all the skills that are considered general. Now, when you specialize in something, it sets you apart from everybody else that completed the general qualifications because everybody has to take the same classes to become an electrical engineer that you could consider yourself as a general comprehensive electrical engineer. Now, the way I would look at it, for an example, you are in college. So we're going to take a look at careers at NVIDIA for an example. So here I've placed electrical engineer, new college graduate. These are the positions that they offer for new college grads, right? So if you're a new college grad, this will be the area you'd be looking at, right? For any company. So if you notice these titles, right? Chip design verification engineer, physical design backend engineer. Here you have systems, software, GPU server, new college graduate. I mean, these are all over the place, but you'll, you'll see that there are certain keywords in here that you got to pay attention to. Verification engineering. Does everybody know how to be a verification engineer? Does everybody know how to be a systems engineer? Does everybody know how to do CPU design engineer? No. So what you want to do is where do you want to work at? What do you want to do in the field? I know being in college, you're not going to be able to touch a lot of these things, but do some research, figure out where and what you want to do. And let's say, for example, you want to be a GPU firmware engineer right? This is in Taiwan. Just look at the qualifications, right? You come down, I guess for your situation, maybe let me put the location, the United States to make it easier. Okay. Let's look at these jobs in the US. So we have a lot of CPU. Let's say you wanted to be a CPU designer. You'd come here and you'd look what they'll be doing, right? They're paying from $92,000 to $178,000 for a new college grad, depending on what skills you bring. And if it's specialized as close as possible to what they need. So they need somebody who's highly proficient in logic design, Verilog, system Verilog, and deep understanding of physical design and VLSI. VLSI is an elective that I decided to take in my bachelor's degree, right? Not everybody had to take VLSI, but because I took that elective, it puts me a little a one step ahead of anybody else who may have gotten the same degree, but didn't specialize in VLSI. Because now if, if they were to hire me and somebody who has no experience in it, they have to double train this guy on the left versus me who I already have a, a good foundation started up. And if it's something that you really enjoyed, then outside of the classes, you'd focus more heavy on doing other personal projects that you could reflect that you incorporated VLSI. They also ask for exposure in computer architecture and digital systems designs. Strengths in Perl. I've never used Perl in my entire life. If you are an electrical engineer that has a specialized skill in Perl, you're already ahead of me. Python, I'm usually, right now I'm learning more Python in my master's degree, but if you're somebody who's excellent in Perl, you specialized in Perl, Python, VLSI, you know, logic design, all these things, that you're specializing in is putting you ahead of other people who are going to be applying for this same position. Now, let's say you were an expert in all of this, right? Remember this, Perl, Python, VLSI, Verilog, you're specialized in it. Now you come to this position for ASIC design and you want to see what are they looking for, right? They're looking for Verilog too, but I don't see anything related to Perl on this list. Is there anything that says Python that they recommend any Python? I don't see it, but as you can see is depending on the jobs and position you're looking for, there's going to be different specializations that each job requires. So your best bet is find out what you want to do and then specialize in it, right? Everybody will have their general electrical engineering degree, but if you want to stand out against your application peers, provide that one unique ability or skill that can trump everybody else. And as you move up 
in the industry, it just continues to stay the same rule. Everything that I've learned today, right, it puts me ahead of other electrical engineers that are not in the RF world because everything that I've spent learning over the year in RF industry, they don't have. So if let's say we both were jobless and we're looking for the same position in RF and he had zero experience in RF and I had over one year of experience in RF, I would obviously have a higher chance of getting that job. And the only way he could flip the coin is making projects or doing things that are so tailored to that job description that when he shows up to the interview, he's almost working on the same objective projects on his own time that directly correlates to the company, then that way he could trump me. So in your case, college graduate, you're looking for to specialize, 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 especially as the economy is getting worse, people are struggling to find jobs. You want to make yourself unique and stand out and provide a skill that they just can't turn over because you already put the time and effort in while you were in college to get good at it. And it's going to help you in the long run. So I hope this helped you, Alexandria. Anybody else has a question or thoughts and opinions? If there's any senior engineers out there, would like to leave your comment section. I could be wrong. So I would really love to hear other people's opinion in the comment section down below. And don't be afraid to share the video, like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Jadavani is out.